I hope my legacy is one that has two different values or sides. The first one, I think I'll leave for, for Evelyn a committee that is better than when I took it on. And so I hope that as materials come through, they always improve on what the one before leaves. Right? Uh, the committee itself is, is, is good because of its delegates. And so these delegates that I've been working with, some of them for 10 years, uh, have created a spirit that, that is positive. We find the work to get things done. And so that positive energy, that positive spirit, that willingness to do things differently but to get them done, I think that is what sends up CCFH, Food Hygiene Committee, as, as a committee that our other committees come to and look at for how to get things done. So I hope my legacy is one of positive energy and, and, and being able to accomplish things. To tell you the truth, I'll never be away from Codex. Because Codex, literally, I, what we say is uh, Codex standards save lives. So regardless of what I do, as long as I'm in food safety, I will be in some way related to the Codex standards. Uh, so your question was, what was how it will be continuing to my, my, new, my new position. It's essential. It has been essential as chief scientist for the agency, uh, as chief of the labs for the agency. And now as undersecretary, the value expands because it's not only for the United States, but I can now have that impact for the entire world. I mean, the, Codex, the work that Codex does is so fundamental to safe food for the entire planet. The United States is a major importer and exporter of food. And so whatever we do in the country needs to be useful for the rest of the planet. As undersecretary, I hope to, 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 to make those goals and values apply worldwide. And so, as I said before with the answer to the legacy question, I think that the work that we do here in Codex carries on for generations. Uh, as a native of Mexico, originally I came from Mexico, I want these things to be applicable to every corner of the world. So I hope that that is what we move forward with. Codex has been for many years very very efficient. Of all the international organizations, we get things done. People look at Codex to get things done. But the world is changing. And we, today, this season, we, we, we have 60th, 60th anniversary, right? Uh, if you don't change, you become obsolete. I think that Codex has been successful, but in order to continue to be successful, we need to be able to open our minds a little bit to these new concepts that people are, are using out there, like One Health, sustainability, uh, you know, uh, um, cross-culture applicability. You know, it's easy to focus on one thing. Food is, is the end result of a lot of things. The way we treat the animals, the way we interact with the environment, the way we consume the food. In the future, there'll be so many new things, new foods, new way to transport that food, new ways to treat it, cook it, to eat it. And so unless we have an open forum in which we adjust to those new challenges, it's gonna be very difficult to remain relevant. I think right now we're in a key moment in Codex. We are, like I said, on the 60th anniversary, but the world is now becoming a lot more flat, if you will, in the way that communication is much faster. And food goes from one place in the world to another within 24 hours. So we need to have standards that are very flexible. And right now, it takes us eight steps, many years to get things done. We're gonna have to be finding a way to be much more uh, assertive in the way we set standards. So it doesn't take five years to set a standard. We are relevant and we will remain relevant by building all these other things into our culture.